hello friends welcome back uh, this is the second video tutorial in the recording video tutorial series by robots in motion so in the last tutorial we saw how to model a simple pendulum in recording soft software and we also simulated the uh, model in the software in this tutorial we will see how we can extract useful data out of the simulation results so let's click on this simulate button again uh, in the last tutorial i did not tell you anything about this step size so this step size is basically the number of steps in which the simulation time will be divided uh, so this 5 second simulation time will be divided into 100 parts each of 0 0.05 seconds uh, so you can increase this the number of steps to get more accurate results and one more thing to notice here uh, our the only reason which made our pendulum swing in the last simulation was this gravity if we make this gravity zero then there would be no swinging at all so let's simulate it now yeah so let's see the animation it works okay so let's plot these results using the plotter given in recording software so in the right side uh, you can see this toolbar uh, so you can generate various the plot of various parameters versus time so in this bodies tab you can see the uh, number of bodies in your model here there is only one body so let's see the plot of various parameters of body 1 with time uh, you can see the vari uh, variation of tx with time tyy with time tz with time uh, okay so in the plot you can see three different uh, graphs being generated uh, and the color code is given above the graph okay so this software generates some random graphs for you but how do you know that what is this tx ty and tz which tx ty tz software is talking about so for your information uh, this tx ty tz are basically the coordinates of the center marker uh, of the link one okay so now it's pretty clear to you uh, which point the, the software is talking about okay so similarly you can plot velocity tx velocity dy velocity tz and acceleration dx etc etc to clear the plot you can click on clear all button okay so now let's see the some joint parameter parameters variance with time okay let's see this position one related okay so this graph shows the variation of angle theta with time so let's check the whether the plot generated is uh, right or not so you can see the expression of time period of a simple pendulum it is uh, t is equal to 2 pi under root l by g in our model the length is 1 meter g is minus 9.81 and we all know the value of pi, pi. Uh, also you can see the variation of theta with respect to time as theta naught cos 2 pi t by t uh, ok so you can see here our uh, theta is 0 at t is equal to 0 and if you calculate the time period of uh, time period of the simple pendulum in our case it's t is equal to 2 seconds approximately so you can see the uh, angle is varying with time uh, with uh, as a, a cosine function uh, and it is as expected 
Now you can see some various other graphs like velocity, acceleration, etc. etc. And here are some useful buttons like trace data. This is very important. Actually, if you want to know some, uh, you want to get the data um, out of this graph at some particular instant of time, so you can always trace over this graph using this trace and you uh, trace button and you will get the re required data on this press ESC to cancel this okay so you have learned the fundamentals of uh, getting graphs using recording okay what if you want to use this graph in some of your documentation so you can always export this graph as an image file give it some name like plot let's say okay so you can uh, use this image file anywhere in your documentation you want so this must is enough for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will see uh, how to model a 4 bar mechanism and uh, simulate it using recording thanks for watching bye